Salma from Salma's Recipes. This is my first YouTube video and I hope you guys like it. Today I'm going to show you how to make simple Bangladeshi chicken bruna. So here I have one tandoori chicken cut in small pieces, two medium sliced onion, three bay leaves, three cinnamon sticks, three cardamom pods, two teaspoon each of ginger and garlic. I'm using my homemade mixed paste. Four tablespoon of cooking oil, salt to taste, six different spices. The spices I'm using are one third teaspoon of turmeric powder, one and three quarter teaspoon of chili powder, one and a half teaspoon of coriander powder, one and a half teaspoon of cumin powder, and one third teaspoon of hot curry powder. One of the optional spice I'm using is one third teaspoon of garam masala. Two medium chopped tomatoes, finely chopped fresh coriander, and six green whole chilies. I'll heat my pan up. Add the oil. Oil could be adjusted as you go. I added four tablespoons of oil. I'm just going to wait for this to heat up a bit. I'm going to add the whole spices and the ginger and garlic. And cook this on high heat for a few minutes. Mix this in. Can add in the onions now. Put the gas up on high heat and stir this in. Salt. Put the gas down to medium heat and let this cook. Make sure to stir at times, and you can cover and cook for about five minutes so you speed up the cooking process and the onions will soften faster. I've covered the pot, I'm going to let this cook on medium heat for about five minutes. Make sure to stir at times, otherwise, the onions would burn. If the onion does become too dry, you can add drops of water to prevent it from burning. Just going to add a little amount of water so it doesn't burn. Put the gas up. I'm going to mix this in. I want the onion to soften, then I'm going to use a potato masher to mash the onions before adding in the spices. Once the onions are soft, you can mash the onions using a potato masher. And I'm going to add in the spices. I'm going to give this a quick mash. So I have mashed my onions. Now I'm going to add in the spices. You can adjust any of the spices to your taste. I'm going to mix this in on high heat. So I have mixed my spices in. I'm going to let the spices cook just under medium heat for 8 to 10 minutes. Make sure to stir the spices at times, otherwise it would burn. If it becomes too dry, then add some hot boiled water or hot tap water to prevent it from burning. So let this cook now. So my spices are cooked. I'm going to add in the chicken. I'm going to put the gas up on high heat and give this a good stir. Make sure the spices covers the chicken fully. I'm going to cook this covered now for five to six minutes and let all the excess water come out. Once all the excess water comes out, uncover and give this a good mix. Then cook the chicken on medium heat for 20 to 25 minutes. 
an uncover and cook now. Don't forget to stir at times, otherwise the chicken will burn. You can adjust her heat anytime if required. It doesn't have to be cooked on medium heat. If you think it's gonna burn, then put it lower than medium heat. Once your chicken looks done, give this a good stir. Then add in half a cup of boiled water. Gonna bring this to boil on high heat for a few minutes. And I'm gonna add in all the final ingredients. Okay, I'll let the water boil for two to three minutes. I'm gonna add in the tomatoes and whole green chilies. Gonna give this a good stir on high heat. If you want, you could add more water if you like. I don't want the curry to be too runny or dry. Kept it in the middle. I'll let this cook for three to four minutes, just under high heat. You can also taste the salt and adjust it if required. Reason why it's better to add less salt at the start as you can adjust it now. The curry is done, I'm gonna garnish with fresh coriander, mix it in, cook further two to four minutes and turn the gas off. Give this a good mix, cook it on high heat for two to three minutes and turn the gas off. So I've got a bit of wet tissue. I'm gonna wipe all the edges so the pot looks nice and clean and turn the gas off. I like pot looking nice and neat. It's a good clean. So curry is done. My buna is done and now I'm gonna serve this in my balti dish. All ready to serve. This looks delicious. I hope you give this recipe a try. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Classic Bangladeshi chicken bruna. Here it is, my simple chicken bruna served with plain white rice. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. More delicious recipes will be coming soon.